you know, we've just passed a massive milestone of uh, 3,000 subscribers, which we are very, very grateful for. Thank you very much for it. And with that, we want to uh, make a bit of an update on uh, our future advances as a company. And we feel as though uh, this new opportunity will really be able to have everyone uh, come together as a community uh, to really kind of uh, be better the advances in what we do. So with that, we'd just like to say that we have um, officially trademarked educational videos, uh, not just on music, just in general, that follow the kind of format that we have. So um, we, we've had some problems like this before where we've had other shows just tr tr to try and... They, they really just rip off what we do, so they completely take away our uh, entire format. So, you know, they, ha they have an intro and they have bits in the middle where they actually speak and they're informative. For, I mean... We had to take legal action and we had to get the trademark for it just just to really, just to protect our best interests. Yeah. And with that, you can now um, license all of that from us. And I'm going to stop that there. Just, no, no, we're not. That is stupid. That's a stupid idea and we're never going to do that. If you don't know what we're talking about, um, the Fine Brothers released... Uh, Video. I'll link you up to uh, Philip DeFranco's version of it, which is up there because he, he do, it's a news channel that he runs. So, uh, yeah, because the video that we're actually referencing here has been taken down. All of this story that's gone on with the Fine Brothers and the idea of trademarking things. Um, in the conversation that happened, they talked about being ripped off and that people were stealing their ideas and... To combat it, they decided that they were going to trademark uh, the idea of React videos or something similar. I don't know the entire story. I'm not commenting on it. What's really interesting is the way that they said that their format had been ripped off. And their format being a really kind of basic, easy to accidentally rip off thing. Because it was... It's nothing amazing what they do. It's got, it's got intro and it's got people watch a thing and then it's got people react to the thing and then talk about it at the end that's just that's a basic normal thing if someone did that that's not ripping it off so today i wanted to talk about ripping people off and the difference between that and being influenced by somebody let's start by having a really basic definition of the difference between being influenced by something and ripping it off the difference the solid difference between it is multiple sources. So let's take an example. Let's say that you want to start a pop punk band and you uh, you really like Green Day. So, okay, let's let's make a pop punk band that's like Green Day. If you stopped there, there's a very high chance that every single song that you write will kind of be ripping off Green Day because that's your only influence. You're only influenced by them, so you're really just going to write Green Day songs. That's ripping them off. That's their, that's their thing, and you're just doing their thing. If, however, you took multiple sources and combined it into one big genre, that has been influenced. You've... You've still got the influence of Green Day, but you've also got so much other stuff that the end product is completely different. Let's give an actual example of that. Ah, you fucker, that fucking... You knew that I was going to do that, I did it earlier. That really hurt. I'm very... That hurt I like am fucking bugger it right out of the movie. I am very sorry. I'm... Okay, so you've got you've got your influence of Green Day, and you want to you wanna do pop-punk music, well, that's fine. Green Day, do pop-punk music, even though Billy Joe hits the... It doesn't matter. Okay, but maybe you, your singer, whether you be the singer or not, maybe you kind of like how Take That do their harmonies and how they sound as a group. So maybe you take your little four-piece, three-piece, five-piece, whatever band, and you decide to try and emulate the singing that Take That kind of do, but in the punk style. Okay, so we're, not, we're getting somewhere. So we've got pop-punk music that kind of sounds like Green Day, but you've got this Take That boy band style vocal over the top what if you take it a little bit further what if structurally verse chorus verse chorus bridge chorus is boring even if you stick riffs in it's still the same kind of thing that everyone's done a million times before what is different is how prog do their kind of music it's got a bit more of a binary structure where it's got maybe an a section b section repeat the a section go c d e section We've got all these different sections that elapse over a longer period of time than a normal song and you really want to incorporate that into your band you can. That is perfectly fine. So you've got this weird pop punk Green Day style with take that boy band esque vocals on the top that's like six to eight minutes long because you're uh, putting all of these different sections in in a prog style. That's where you're getting somewhere. I'm not saying that that's a band that you should make. It might sound terrible. It probably would sound terrible, but it's original and it's new, but it still has influences by people that you like. On top of that, you've also just got things like 
your drummer is going to be influenced by different people. Your singer is going to be influenced by different people. Your guitarist is going to be influenced by different people. And on those instruments, you can take the techniques that those artists do and you can make them your own and combine them just within your instrument and provided that all of the different parts work well together like having really heavy distorted drums on a really kind of ambient electronic track wouldn't work but provided that all of your different influenced bits provided that they all work well together you've got something new and you've got something original but you are being influenced and you're not ripping someone off by just emulating what they do. Just to emphasize, you've, you've, it has to work. Everything that you do has to be compatible with each other. Some weird uh, juxtaposed things would work, could work, but it's really just, some things will never work and you've got to be able to spot that and see it and change it. That said, go out, try some different stuff. Don't just do what someone else is doing. They're already doing it. There's a market for that, but if you do it differently, you're more likely to be liked rather than Yeah, I like them, but it just sounds like insert band name there. That's rubbish. Don't do that Next time on the music lab. Last week if you haven't seen the video I'll link up there uh, We said that we were gonna write a song. Uh, I think we said that we were gonna do it this week um, Just because there hasn't been a lot of time for voting because we filmed this earlier in the week uh, we're going to leave that till next week so we actually have a week and a half's worth of voting. So voting will probably close about Wednesday time next week. You said we were going to write a song and you got to choose the genre. Uh, it's between two. One is 90s hip hop and one is electronic ambient acoustic music. So kind of spacious -y music. It's kind of hard to explain but I, I guess that you get what I mean. So it's between that or that. Which one would you like us to do? Have a vote. Hi. Been, you have been the worst camp lighting man this entire video. I'm very sorry if the light's been moving around like it currently it's is. It's uncomfortable sitting in like this. Well, that's great, but... I could have just done this, really. Yes, you could have. Right, he's having a fit. No, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> it's, the, it's the Pixar thing. It's a shame that you can't see it. Lamp. See you next week. Where we write a song. Vote on the song. I hope they haven't trademarked that.